So let's go to Haley, who's calling us from somewhere in Kentucky and um, got a question about mom. Haley, welcome to the program. Hi, Dr. Cloud. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Haley. Thank you for calling. Yeah, no problem. Are you calling uh, with so an agenda I and a criticism? <laughs> no, sir. I'm actually open to all criticism. <laughs> I'm an artist, so it comes naturally to me. Ah, uh, that's right. Well, you know, sort of like, sort of like when you write books, you have to read all these reviews. Ah, what? No, they hate, yeah. it. They hate it. They love it. They hate it. Yeah. Anyway, so how how can I help you? So um, right now, I am going through a ordeal with my narcissistic mom and my sisters, um, I'm currently in therapy and I've learned how to gray rock and it's helped me a great deal. Um, but my sisters are very reactive and I've tried, you know, telling them about gray rocking and how it helps because they would rather yell to get her to hear them when we're in these conflicts. And I've told them, I said, hey, Wait a like, minute. Whoa, it doesn't whoa. help. You're, how about you're, you're, yes, sir. Your, con your conflict is with your <laughs> sisters? or your mother it's with our mother but it involves us our sisters as well my sister okay keep going all right got it okay sorry um but it's okay um hi finley um but when we're in the um when we're in conflict uh, my sisters would rather yell and try to speak above my mom rather than just letting her vent and rage and not giving her anything. Um, yeah. And so I've tried to tell them about gray rocking, but um, they're not. Why don't very, you, so, so, so gray, gray working is kind of a non-responsive approach. So why don't you, for our audience sake, tell them what you told your sisters. Okay, here's how you ought to deal with mom. We're gonna gray rock her and you, and you just tell them what that is. Okay, so gray rocking is basically, um, I've heard the term used as taking all the oxygen out of the room. Um, so narcissists, you know, they really feed off of your reaction and the energy that you give them. And the more energy you give them, the more they will basically respond back. Um, so get madder, yell, rage, it just gets worse. Um, gray rocking is when you take all that energy away from them and you try to be as boring as possible. So say my mom is venting and she's raging and she's doing all this nasty yelling, I'll simply respond like, okay, or just give her really boring responses and yeah. basically give her the message that I'm not interested in what she's saying. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it, so does everybody get that? It's sort of like, it's sort of like ignoring, ignoring attention, getting behavior of a kid. It's not exactly the same. This has to do with, with, um, you know they're they're looking for responses and mirroring and you're not, not going to give that to, can you guys hear me at all I'm, I'm sort of i might have to throw my dog out um so here's a problem I, i'm just going to put this out there um this is a problem with the whole this is a problem with the whole narcissism thing that's out there in pop psychology is that all narcissists are mm -hmm. not the same there's different yeah. kinds of narcissists. And so that's mm -hmm. why just as a strategy, um, there are, you know, there, there can't be one strategy to dealing with a narcissist because a narcissist is not a narcissist. There's envy based right, narcissists. Right. There's, you know, omnipotent, arrogant. There's, there's vulnerable narcissists that are shame driven and need, they're needy. Mm -hmm. They're just not all the same. So anyway, I say that to say gray rocking. Yeah, it might help. You know, there are, you know, uh, it, it's so interesting. Um, it, even in the dog training world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I look at the dog training world and it's exactly the same thing you see everywhere else in the world. There are people that are, huh. that are all love and there are people that are all limits and discipline and you know there mm -hmm. are in, in the dog training world you're not even supposed to confront somebody or a dog you're right. not supposed to correct them you're not supposed to use anything corrective anything aversive like a choke chain or some all positive all this kind of stuff and then there's the other group no they got to know what's what's wrong and this and another 
Well, when you listen to you, listen to you and your sisters, it's so interesting. You're getting the exact same thing. They want to use the choke chain, right? They mm-hmm. want to yank yeah. her. <laughs> and you want to yeah. just kind of ignore, divert her attention and give her a, a different toy. That's the parenting version of this nonsense. So, okay. so you just, there probably neither one of you is right or wrong, but, but okay. I say all this to say, help me know your specific question. I don't think, do, if you said got, your sisters yell at her, yell at her and stuff like that, that's not going to help. Yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to, I guess my basic question to just burn it down basics. How can I incur, what is something more healthy than yelling that I can encourage them to do? Well, they're yelling Rather at your mother. Yelling, like, what are they doing? What are they doing? Mm-hmm. So basically in a, in an argument, like our most recent one, Um, my mom would be yelling and spewing all this hate, this hateful stuff. And then my sister would be yelling back, like, you're a liar. For them? Huh? For them? Hateful stuff towards them? Yeah. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they would say, hey, that's not true. And then it, and then they would say, here's all the things that you did. And it just becomes just a huge, just shouting match and nobody gets anywhere. Yeah. So what's the question about that? That's, that's not to go back to a, something I said earlier, but that's kind of dumb, right? <laughs> Sit there and scream yeah. at each other and we're not getting anywhere. We continue to do this for 30 years. So that's not smart. Yeah. So, so what is the mm-hmm. question about that? Whether or not what you're going to ask me um, whether I'm, or not that's helpful. Yeah, I'm just asking, what is something more healthy to do in a conflict like that rather than yelling? Well, okay. Um, what is healthy to do in a conflict like that rather than not yelling is sort of depends. What is it okay. you want? What are we looking for here? See, we're just looking. I'm. Oh, Go I'm ahead. I, 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 I really, I, I really want to hear the answer to this. No. What are your What, what are your sisters? For, what are your sisters looking for? They're just looking for equal footing. From well, what my sister basically told me the other day was, she just wants our mom to realize how much hurt she's putting on us. That's all she wants her to do is realize how much she's hurting us. Ba- pretty basic. That's all That's, she wants yeah. her to do. That's all she wants yeah, to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, then here is what she has learned. She has learned, apparently, that to talk to your mom one-on-one or, you know, kind of in the conversation to do this, um, that that doesn't work, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. So, so light bulb, when something doesn't work, why don't we stop doing that? Now there's a there's a new thought, right? Mm-hmm. So if yeah. trying to talk to mom about this just us, okay, in this way, yelling back at her to get her, that's not working. So why don't we take that off the table? All right. Right. So how about mm-hmm. starting in a different way? How about going to mom and saying, you know what, mom, I love you. I'd like for our relationship to be better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause it seems like we, we mm-hmm. yell at each other a lot and I don't like that. Yeah. That's a, and I don't think you mm-hmm. like that. And so I would like to have a conversation where we may, why don't we make a ground rule where there's no yelling and we're just, we just want to understand and try to listen and understand where each other's coming from and respect that and see if we do that with that ground rule that maybe we can begin to care for each other better right Right. that's one that's one idea Mm -hmm. all right Mm -hmm. i doubt i doubt it's gonna work because it doesn't sound (laughs) like we've tried that in the past and it hasn't that's why i said that's one idea Mm -hmm. I doubt it's going to work. Okay. And you now I know you've tried that. So now what I would say 
is mom, mm -hmm. we want to have a good relationship with you. We get in a lot of arguments and there's a lot of yelling and we don't get very far. And then we go back and do yeah. it again. I would like for us to sit down and talk to each other and try to understand each other. But mm -hmm. we've tried that too. Yeah. I mean, we try to solve it in the moment. Okay. We can't solve it in the moment. So then we try to have a conversation and try to listen to each other. And it just happens again. So I don't want to get mm -hmm. in these. I don't want to get in these conversations anymore. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to offer another alternative. Parenthetically, if our goal okay. is to get in a conversation where mom's listening. Okay. I'm going to offer a right. third alternative since we tried the first two. Now I'm going to offer a third uh -huh. one. I would like for us to only talk about this if we're with a counselor that can help us listen to each other because we're incapable of listening to each other. So if you would like to mm -hmm. do that and go with me, then I'll be glad to set it up and we can all do that. So let me know. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so now listen to what I'm telling you here. I'm responding to a question, to the answer to a question that I ask you, what do you want? Now, what you told me was your sisters want her to listen, right? Now, yeah. mm -hmm. it sounds like you're gray rocking. It sounds like you might have a different agenda. You're not really after her listening and understanding you. You're just after learning how to kind of get through the moment and deflect her kookiness as it's going on in the moment. And you found that to not respond to it is a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. So again, it's yeah. not, I do think I said, it's not either or good or bad, right or wrong. That's not true. What they're doing is just, it's just wrong. It's just right. wrong. You're not going to get a mm -hmm. threatened person vulnerable to narcissistic injury to respond to you when you're screaming at them yeah <laughs> so as a psychologist yeah. i can tell you that's probably not the best idea but if okay. you want to keep gray rock gray rocking her because you want to ignore this bad behavior and not not reinforce it there's nothing if that's your agenda there's nothing wrong with that you're not trying to fix this you're trying to get through lunch right yeah it's basically with her repeated behavior in the past it, she's shown no change and it's just what get like you said it's what gets me through the moment um and it's what helps me survive day to day you know i'm a aspiring artist i'm building my career and like when i get in these arguments it's really emotionally draining um so it's what? i'm just trying to survive the day you know <laughs> okay but but then all right can i help you Sure. Not just yeah, your absolutely. sisters, but help you. Why yeah. would you want to be? In, why would you want to be in these conversations to begin with? You're you're telling me like, how to survive them. I don't. I don't want to survive a hurricane. I mean, I might find yeah. myself one day where I find myself in one and I have to do it. But I'm not going to drive yeah. to one. Drive to one. I'm going to avoid them. So why are we even in? Why do we even have this problem? I, you know, I, it's really interesting because these, they come up so sporadically and it's, it's really random when they do happen. Um, I, I just, I, so I mom really is wonderful. Really mom is I'm wonderful 90% of the time. And every now and then you have a, a Katrina. No, sir. No, sir. Not at all. Okay. So explain the randomness it'll be it essentially it will be it's well during a normal just during the day like a day-to-day -day thing it it's always some one thing or another and then it kind of snowballs so wait a minute, like day to day will, yeah will, wait a minute may, maybe i'm misunderstanding day to day okay are you are you how you live at home with her? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, how old are you? I'm 23, sir. <laughs> oh, 
Do all your sisters live with her too? Yes, sir. How old are they? Uh, 21 and 17. Oh my gosh, you can almost erase everything I've said. I thought you guys were adults, <laughs> adults dealing with, no, sir. yeah. Okay. No, sir. Well, um, you're, you're <laughs> 23. Stuff, no, I'm not gonna lie, it's very. <laughs> it's what? It's what? No, I said what you said is very, it's very, very good. Um, COVID-19, I'm a senior in college, and since COVID hit, it sent me back home. So, yes, oh. I was originally move, and so now I moved back in with my parents. Got it. All right. Well, then I'm liking your strategy even more, right? Because it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, it sounds like you're kind of, uh, you sort of, you know, you're driving somewhere in life and now you had to pull off the road and you're living there for a while. And it sounds exactly. like this is this is kind of how you go through it when it flares up and it's not your agenda to try to change her. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. um, you know, with uh, with all of you, I think I said, forget everything I said. Don't forget everything I said, because I think that other <laughs> that that other plan is, you know, uh, if this is a mother with 21 year old, 17 year old, and you got this level of volatility, that's not healthy in a family. They, you know, the kids should, should say, let's go get some counseling. Yeah. Where's dad? And, Where's dad? And I'm the, I, dad is, um, so dad is also in this situation, but he does speak up when he wants to, but more often than not, he just kind of lets things fall to the wayside. He hates conflict, um, just like me. Um, he did confront on my mother on this issue recently, um, but he still feels bad for her. Um, <laughs> I don't really so, feel bad. Yeah. I, you know, she's attacking people and yelling people and stuff. It's hard to, I, I feel bad for children living in that kind of conflict and I wish he would too. So yeah. as the older as the older sister, it may be good to talk to your dad and say, you know what I'm you know, I'm out of here. I kind of get it, but there's you know, there's still um dad, is there anything could we all go to counseling together? Is there anything we can do about this? You know, this is I'm worried about it for my little sister. Yeah. You might have that. Yeah. And I've mentioned that to him before. I said, hey, you know, my dad went to counseling. My, and a little more background, my parents were divorced um, back in 2013. And they kind of co-parented alongside each other. But until recently, my mom, my dad let my mom move back in. Um, and that's where everything seemed to flare. Um, I've tried mentioning counseling um, and he doesn't want to go back. He doesn't think he needs to is what his exact words were. And my sister's are very, um, they don't want to go back either because of a past experience that we've had with a counselor okay. um, when we were teenagers. Well, so, sometimes, school, so. yeah, and I don't know, maybe the season is different. Are, are they remarried? He, he let her move back in to be a couple again or just let her move back in? No, sir. They're not remarried. She just, he, he just let her move back in. All right, well, I would say, hey, dad, um, you get to choose who you invite to live in our house, but this is painful. This mm -hmm. is not good. So anyway, it's just something mm -hmm. I would suggest to talk about him. I've got to run here and get to some other callers, but um, I appreciate no, your okay. concern. So what's that? No, you're okay. Thank you. I'm really glad I got to be able to talk to you. And, you know, I know you said forget everything, but I'm not, I have it, <laughs> I have it all written well, down. Well, I, yeah, so, I, I'd say forget um, it because it's helpful. like I had to start over in my own head, but I do think, you know, the continuum <laughs> of choices, don't let it get to you. You're on your way out of here. You know, she's obviously, yeah. obviously not signing up for a life change program, but generally yeah. if we get somebody like her to sign up for this, we do it. Um, we do it out of setting some limits, not exposing ourselves to it more and more and more. So thank you for your call. You know, there, there's an important principle here though, several like eight or nine in that last call. One of them is, look, all, all principles do not apply to every situation because you're, you're, 
your desired outcome is not the same. Okay. You really have to think about this. What do you want from this particular relationship? Because in some relationships, you're really going to try to work on it and fix it and make it better in other contexts or other relationships or whatever, you know, you're, you're sitting in a bus station waiting room for 15 minutes. So what you're trying to do is, you know, not have the drunk person throw up on you while you're there. So go sit on the other side of the room and bide your time. I mean, there's a thousand different, a thousand different strategies, but you don't use any strategy until you get clear in your head. What do I want here? And so her agenda was kind of just, you know, make it through these moments. The sister's agenda was to try to fix mom. Well, very different agendas. So very, very, very different strategies. Remember, before you just before you figure out what strategy you're going to use, you got to figure out well, where do you want to end up? Because those can be very, very different. And different relationships have different goals. Some relationships, the goal ought to be to get done and never, you know, talk to this person again, unless they get struck by lightning and have an awakening and come and repent. Other relationships, it's to always be talking to this person for it never to end. Figure out where you want to go.